well, this is it. So we wanted to show you some of the upgrades and some of the things we did to this trailer while we were living in it. Because we didn't get a chance to show you before. Because um, I had corrupted media. So uh, here we the are. Third time, oh, where did that camera yeah, go? Dumb there we go. All right. So we're going to start giving you a tour. This is the last and final tour. And I'm going to do it exactly like I do. If when we were, we were, we were at the show. So okay. let's start. What, what model is this? This is the model 297QB, and that means four quarter bunk house. And come on in to our old home. You come into the kitchen here, and as you guys notice, this is not your typical color here. This used to be that ugly brown. It like, was like this, like the fridge. Everything was like the fridge. Everything was like this, and we decided before we knew we were going to buy another RV that we were going to make it our own. So we picked blue for the top and gray for the, for the, I mean, blue for the bottom, blue for the bottom and gray for the top. Um, I liked it better this way. We did paint it all gray and then I didn't like the bottom all gray because I wanted to give it a little bit of character and to do the um, trim in on the slide in blue just to give it a little bit of a and then of character. I found this on Amazon so I figured why not add a little more flavor to it so the door looks like a barn door and this is probably my favorite part of this RV. As you guys know, we used to have a dinette here. And this is, I work from home. If you need some well care nutrition, I'm your girl. Shameless plug. And, um. So the water pump was underneath there. And I made it look the same, just so it would look nicer. You have so we still, are, we still are going to put out a video because we did save some of the footage of Adrian actually doing. Yeah, there's a little bit. So. Making it. So we're going to probably insert it in this. Just kind of like memories as, as he's doing the things, some of the things he's doing. But this was the dinette here. And we put in the fireplace and this breakfast bar because I would sit out here and look out to the water where we were at, at our old home base. So we had our recliners. We had our little, little, little fridge, which I'm so happy now with the new fridge. Stove, three burner, nice sink. We added that wallpaper sticky back stuff that makes it a little nicer. The microwave, nice cabinets, cabinet TV, and then there's the other part we did. So... See the mattress up there? You can still use it as a bunk, a bed, but we made it so you could use it as a desk. And you guys saw this. This was where we did our lives. This is and where I worked. And you insert some pictures of it put yep. together. As you guys can see right here, this is when me and my brother were making it. So, not bad for, you know, what it was. Um, so let's go quickly into the rest of it here is our bed our shower you know we did never get around to upgrading this yeah that was just something that we were going to do and we never got to but it. we never got to it and i'm glad now that we did because now we got an upgraded one so we did we did do the backsplash this is the sticky stuff and hint hint you can get it super cheap at the Dollar Tree, and that's where this came from. And, and believe it or not, go. this has been here, guys, for three years. And, and whoever it. tells you that it doesn't survive extreme warm weather or extreme cold, cold weather, remember, we lived in the mountains. So this has lasted three years, guys. And then, and then last but not least, we didn't get to do much here. Nothing at all, really. We just slept here, pretty we much. We just had an upgraded purple mattress, which, of course, we're not going to leave. Um, and we switched it for a standard mattress. But this is this is really it. Um, I'm going to miss it, but only because it was home for three months and we made so many memories. But I'm not going to miss it that much because I have that beautiful rig. And stay tuned for the reveal. So, 
One last look. Everyone's seen the outside, so no need to show that. And yeah, so hope you guys got to enjoy seeing what we did here. We will miss Explorer One, but if we are looking for a new name, name this one so for a new rig, comment below and let us know what, what you, think you think we should call it. We will all we'll say is it is a fifth wheel. And we're gonna reveal it before you guys even yes. come up with names. But, so, but start thinking about it. If we pick Tell your name, below. we will give you a gift card. Yep. So comment below and let us know what you think. Until the next time.